In today's market, cost and value are what drive the sales. Customers are always searching for the best deal. One of the first questions a customer asks is, how much does the insert cost? Vendors constantly fight to get the lowest price. There is big pressure on the vendors to be right on the edge of any kind of profit. But what happens after the sale? Now the pressure is on the customer to make the most of what they just purchased. Here is an HM390. It has three cutting edges versus two cutting edges on the Gila mill. We offer these inserts at almost the same price. So, which one is the better deal? Let's say we buy this insert at $15. That is $5 per edge. The insert goes in the tool holder and we put it to work. Today we will be using the HM390 FTD D3-6-1.0-15. And on our part, we will be cutting an easy 1018 cold roll. So we will run, let's say, 650 surface feet. 3.82 times 650 is 2483. That, divided by our 3-inch cutter, is 827 RPM. Now this cutter has 6 inserts, and we're going to run 5 thousandths per insert. So that will be 827 times 6 times 5 thousandths is 24.81 inches per minute. Now we are ready to cut. But how do we cut? Well, that depends on a multitude of factors. Let's keep it simple for today. We have a block of 1018 we need to mill a step into. We will have to go an inch and a half deep, and let's say 2 and a half inches back. So we drop in 125 thousandths and go to work. This will take 12 passes to complete. Now let's look at the cost of what we just did. The HM390 TDKT 1505 PDR is capable of a 0.500 depth of cut. We only went 125 thousandths. This means only the radius and 0.095 of the insert is in the cut. And we used it 12 times to complete the task. That's only using a quarter of what you paid for. How expensive did the insert just get? So, how do we get the most for our money? Well, we can start with a little math. 1018 steel cuts at about 1 cubic inch per horsepower. We went 0.125 deep and stepped over 2.5 inches at 24.8 inches per minute. So, our area is 0.125 times 2.5 is 0.3125. That times our feed rate gives us 7.75 cubic inches. And 1018 being 1 cube per horsepower gives us a 7.75 horsepower cut. Most modern Cat 40 machining centers are around 25 horsepower. Not only did we not use our insert to its potential, neither did we use our machine. Let's start making some money. If we change our depth of cut to 0.250, we are at 15.5 horsepower. That's better, but we still have more insert we're not using. Let's drop to 0.375 depth of cut. That puts us at 23.25 horsepower. Now we're pushing the machine, but there's still some insert left. Let's go back to the beginning. If we go the full 0.500 depth of cut, but only step over 1.25 inches, that's only 15.5 horsepower. We can complete the part in only 6 passes. Remember that the feed rate has not changed, we're still at the original 24.81 inches per minute. We have just cut our cycle time in half, from 12 passes to 6. We have not abused our machine, and just used everything we paid for. Step back, look at your operations. Simple solutions to a more profitable day are right in front of you. Are you making money, or just making chips?